So I'm with William Heath here from OMC UK Limited. This is not what we class as your traditional video about star sliding headlays. William, firstly, tell us a little bit about the company and what you do here. Uh, well, we're a specialist optoelectronics manufacturer. Uh, so we make products involving fiber optic, data links, uh, LED products, um, all component parts that end up inside someone else's piece of kit. Um, so uh, on the fiber optic side, uh, we make a lot of uh, transmitter and receiver parts that take an electrical signal, turn it into light. We also make a fiber optic cable that goes in between and then the receiver end gets turned back into an electrical signal again. Uh, and that involves a lot of uh, connectors, housings, metal parts, ideal for, uh, for a sliding head machine. Which is why you purchased this machine. Now, how long has it actually been here now? It still looks remarkably almost shiny and new. Uh, it's been about 18 months, I think. Yeah, October 2016, I think we put it in. And I think what's really interesting is, is the decade or so that, that's passed. Can you tell us about why this machine's here and how it came about being here? Uh, yeah, sure. So, uh, so we used to do um, a lot more in-house uh, CNC work, um, but with machines as they were a decade ago, they needed to be manned 24 hours a day uh, if we were running them 24 hours a day, which we were, um, which involved night shifts, involved keeping the factory open, you know, lights on, heating on, staff in all around the clock. Um, and the overheads associated with that meant that for some parts it was actually more cost effective to, uh, to outsource and we could offer a cheaper part that way than doing it in-house, which, which was, was to us crazy, but, uh, but, it, uh, but it was the way it was. So the key points were low maintenance. Um, I, know, I, I know historically a lot of ma the, the old machines used water-based coolants. Corrosion was an issue. Um, maintenance was a real, real big issue. And also the ability to hold tolerance, um, the ability to turn the machine off turn the lights off, walk away, and come back in the morning to, uh, to a, a batch of parts. And it was also important for you not to, be able, not to have to kind of reintroduce labour into the equation, or labour costs into the equation as well. Yes, that's right. Um, very important, because if we had to run a night shift, then you know, we, it would defeat the point. Um, we, we, we're putting the machine in to make us even more competitive. Uh, we don't want to go backwards. And uh, so that was a real key criteria, to be able to turn the machine off, lights out, leave it unattended, and, uh, and, and, and leave it producing overnight, over weekends. Tell me about the, uh, the, the accuracy one, because what, what were you looking to achieve on some of your parts that this machine had to deliver? Oh, on some parts, we were, we were looking at tolerances of, you know, sort of five microns and, uh, and below, um, on not just on, on diameters, but things like hole concentricities, uh, that, that kind of dimension, which is, which is really quite challenging for a for even, even modern machines. Um, but what is, what is good about the work that you do is the materials that you cut. Can you just explain yeah, the, well, what the materials are that you're predominantly cutting on this machine? Uh, we're, we're generally t cutting um, softer materials, so we're not, we're not, we're not uh, uh, ramming tools into stainless all day long. So we can, um, we can afford to run the, mach run the machines for, for, for extended periods without worrying too much about tool wear. Um, I mean, we probably best example is uh, Christmas, Christmas before last, we, we set the machine up to, uh, to run a particularly slow part um, over the Christmas break, and we were, had the shutdown for 10 days. And, um, and apart, apart from a couple, of, uh, a couple of checks during the week, um, it, it was completely unattended the whole time. Um, and we came back at the end of the period to a, to a bucket full of parts, um, all conforming, all in spec, first part and the last part to the micron. And, uh, I mentioned cycle time again, but that really that isn't an important one as well. That's what's interesting about this story, because a lot of um, star sliding head lathe users we go into and they'll have a component and they'll say the challenge was to get this part from a minute down to 36 seconds. That's not, that doesn't apply here, does it? For you, it's about the unmanned running, the quality of the component. Yes, that's right. Quality is the key thing. Uh, quality, being able to leave it unmanned. Um, and, and also flexibility as well. Um, we're, we're, not, you know, we're not worried about trying to shave you know, one and a half seconds off a, off a cycle time. Um, that isn't gonna save us a huge, uh, a huge amount. What, what, what really does uh, benefit us is, is the increased flexibility that we've got with an in-house machine. Um, all of our business really is involved, it, it is uh, in the production of um, parts that are tailored to solve a customer's problem. Uh, so um, we make a few standard parts, but inevitably um, we'll get customers asking, this part's great, but it would be 
perfect for our application if we could take a corner off it or make the diameter slightly smaller, whatever. And, uh, and, and it's so easy for us to do that now. We can make exactly what a customer needs. And you could probably do that overnight, whereas before you'd have had to have gone to an, out, an external source. Would they have the capacity? Would they have the time? You wouldn't have the control. So many, uh, so many potential issues there. Yeah, the fact that we can now run the machine um, and lights out means we can, we can literally do that. We can, we can come up with a product concept you know, in the afternoon, set the machine up, before, before everyone goes home and then the next morning we've got parts. And you're having ideas as well, I mean you, you've just started to in, uh, kind of engrave or put your name on your components as well whereas you didn't have that before. Oh we've got a lot more capability because this, this sliding head's so versatile in what it can do, how many tools we can fit, the way the, the orientations of the tools. Um, we can, uh, engraving is a big one, we've, we've now engraving um, all of our parts, not, uh, not just a company name, we're able to put batch codes for traceability um, we're, we're working on a system of date coding at the moment where the machine will just automatically uh, date the part to, uh, so we can trace the, trace the production uh, right through to you know, the hour the part was made. Um, we're also, uh, because, because of the, the, the capabilities of the machine, we're able to introduce new features into our parts as well, connect us with, with features that just couldn't be done um, with, with previous generations of machines, keyway mechanisms on complex connectors, um, that, that kind of thing that we're, we're now able to introduce really very, uh, very, very easily and cost effectively. Give us um, a bit of a, an overview of how Matt has handled this uh, transition in your business for you and start on the whole. Uh, well, Matt's been really good. Um, he's, he took a lot of time to understand exactly what it was that we needed from the machine, what we're producing, um, and, uh, uh, and, and then the the engineering team at Star have been great as well. We 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 used a sort of turnkey um, uh, package with Star to get us running, uh, get us off the ground. Uh, so they engineered the first kind of five or six components for us. Um, and it gives you a warm feeling to feel that the business knows what they're talking about and can deliver what they say. Yes, that's right. And they're, they're always on the end of the phone. You know, if we have a problem, if anything's wrong, you know, there's. This, it's just not an issue, you know, we just get on the phone to, to, uh, to one of the engineers at Star and they sort us out. Um, it's, it's great, I mean, we couldn't offer more really. Uh, we're, we're really pleased.